Today is a day to get things cleaned up. Hey, it's Amy. Welcome back to Hummingbird Hill. And actually today is just a day to get a lot of spring cleanup done. It is super bright and super cold and super windy. So I'm not gonna be doing a lot of talking, but I thought I'd bring you along as I try and get some of the things that I've been neglecting over winter straightened up. So stick with me and let's see what we can get done. First, I gotta head into the barn and grab some baling twine because I'm gonna use that for a couple of pruning projects that I have. I have a tip that I got from Laura over at Garden Answer about when you're pruning tall grasses and such that I'm gonna try out and I think it'll make life a lot easier. So I'm gonna go grab that. I've gotta go downstairs, grab my pruners, downstairs, down the hill, and grab my pruners and grab the little tractor so that I have a place to put all the things I'm cleaning up and then I'm just gonna get started. And like I said, it is super windy again today, so I don't know how much talking I will be doing, but we'll see as we go along. All right, here we go. my sunglasses because otherwise I cannot see at all today but hold on I'm not shaking here okay sorry I'm wearing my sunglasses because as I am working I cannot see at all today without them 
But the tip that I thought that was really awesome that Laura over at Garden Answer gave is when you're cutting down tall grasses, use a rope or something to tie them off so that when you cut them off, they're a lot easier to pick up in a bundle. When I did this last year, I had, of course, grasses spread everywhere and it was kind of a pain in the behind to clean up. So hopefully this will be a little easier. As you can see, there are some lovely blackberry vines growing through the grass that I also need to worry about getting rid of. Um, but this is my favorite grass on the property and I absolutely love it. So I've been putting off cutting it down because it is so gorgeous and I'll put some pictures in of what it's looked like in the light throughout this winter. And if I have any of what it looks like last summer. So I'm gonna get back to this, but I thought that was a great tip that you might like as well. Oh yeah, this would be so much easier if I had like a hedge trimmer. I don't have one. Obviously, I do not have the right trimmers. These are what I have, so they're what I'm using. But this, if I had the trimmers and used the tie around method, would be super quick and be already done. As it is, I'm just gonna have to keep hacking away, which may take a long time. Um, and I may have to untie and pull off the outer later layers because I can't get to the inner layers. So something that is always something to think about, something that is always something to think about, said that something that is always good obviously is having the right tool for the job but when you don't have the right tool for the job making do also is helpful okay if I hadn't already started hacking away at this what would have been really smart for me with the tool that I have is to make three or four smaller bundles of the grass tie those up because that would also have been super easy to lift up and put in the bin to take down to compost or dispose of whichever I decide to do but so if you don't have the right tool for the job which would be one of those handy dandy little hedge trimmers smaller bundles with clippers that will work but just take a lot longer would have made this a lot easier next time I'll think about that before I start longer than I thought it would because I didn't have the proper tools. However, tying that together with the twine was super helpful and it let me figure out where those last remaining little um, stems of grass that needed cut were. So I've got that loaded up. Obviously, I have some raking to do, not as much as I would have without the using the twine to tie it together. But I'm going to get this done. Then I've got something I just discovered I should have planted in the fall that I didn't, but it's actually growing. So I'm going to get it in the ground too. So I'll be right back.
Like I said, chores to be done. This little pot is a pot of daylily bulbs. And actually this is a pot that I had separated out a ton of daylilies that had been here since before we moved in and really needed separated. And I'd plopped down a whole bunch of the pots around the landscape where I wanted to put them in. And I forgot this one last winter, well fall. Um, and as you can see, these little suckers really want to live. So I'm going to get them in the ground today too. Right now I'm going to hop back on the tractor and head back down the hill and rake up the hay on my weedy hill that the chickens have been helping rearrange. I'm going to put that in and I'm going to put these in the ground down there just to add a little color. Nibbles, what you doing? Well, gosh, if you put the hay back where it was, the chickens are just going to spread it around again. That is true, but chickens are excellent for helping build compost. So I don't mind raking it up when the wind and the chickens spread it out a little bit. For the most part, what they're actually doing is helping stir up the hay, make it into more interesting soil so that this will be a better hill for planting. So not a bad deal. Chickens help out and they eat the bugs.
obviously another reason why I really should have my gloves on. Oh, and I only got a few ouches when I was cutting back the grass. Grass is very pokey. Better go wash these off and then head to the garden for the next thing I need to clean up. From the garden Hear the clinging of the chimes The last tomatoes Hanging shriveled on the vines The autumn breeze is just a promise of the freeze that's coming soon The season's fleeting The days are blurring into years The line's retreating As every moment disappears The stories end to leave Another to begin to start anew thousand years when all our bones have disappeared and every word has been erased still the rivers flow the sun will glow the seeds will grow the wind will come and blow it all away yeah it's that kind of windy again replaced. oh well <laughs> All the deadlines have come and gone without a sound. The saddest headlines are now just pigment. Okay, so it is super windy out. The camera has fallen over three times, and I think that means it's time for me just to keep on working. I'm almost done anyway. All I need to do is empty out the trailer and then tidy up a few more things in the garden. As you saw, I trimmed back my Brussels sprouts finally, which was super necessary. Um, I played with those last March, and I've never grown Brussels sprouts before, and we ate a ton off those, but I didn't, not until fall, and I really should have cut the leaves off and let them mature earlier in the season. So that was a super good learning experience for me, um, and it was just time to get them out of the garden so I can make way for the seeds that I'm going to start planting this week. Today is the last day that the weather should be below freezing, according to the forecast, so it is time to get some peas and some lettuces and some other tasty bits in my race beds. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed kind of just watching me make a total goofball of myself, getting things done. Um, you know what? You make do with what you have, and at some point I may need to buy a hedge trimmer, but since that's the only, that grass is the only thing I really need one for around here, you know what? I can just cut it. Better pruners might be something useful all around the farm. All right, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you'll come back next time so we can do some more things together. Song on the ground, the battles fought, the lessons taught, they all are lost now in the end. And every secret you ever guarded with your life, the stars will keep it. If all the photons should arrive, we're just a speck in time and space, just a fleck upon its face. And in a thousand years, when all our bones have disappeared, and every word has been erased, The rivers flow, the sun will glow, the seeds will grow, the wind will come and blow it all away. Cause we are just a memory replaced. Free yourself, release yourself. The burdens that you carry all will topple in the end. And every bad decision that was weighing on your mind Every failed mission, every ladder left unclimbed It all just blows away And in a thousand years when all our bones have disappeared And every word has been erased 
rivers flow, the sun will glow, the seeds will grow, the wind will come and blow it all away. Progress and the waste. Still the rivers flow, the sun will blow, the seeds will grow, the wind will come and blow it all away. Cause we are just a memory replaced.